Hello and welcome to the vlog. I have not vlogged for about nine months and this is supposed to be my journey from mum to millionaire and I just haven't updated you. So lots of things going on. I have, it took me about two hours to get from Essex to London today. I'm not impressed. I missed a meeting. But the good thing is I'm in this beautiful place, which I, okay, that doesn't look that beautiful, but I'm in a really beautiful place called St. I think this is St. James's Park. It's so nice here. So always see the positive in things. I found a really nice place to come uh, to take my son. And today is a very exciting day because I'm going to lunch with Jacqueline Gold. She's the 16th richest woman in the UK and she is um, the CEO of Anne Summers. She won a CBE and I never told you last year I was one of her top three businesses. So this channel Mum to Millionaire was one of her top three businesses. Um, yeah and she picked me. I'm not talking very well because I get a bit believe it or not I get really nervous talking in front of people and there are lots of people everywhere so I will see you in a minute <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh or cry I keep on walking around in circles and I've now reached Trafalgar Square wow we're seeing all the sights today and now I am going to the meeting are, are you proud of me I'm getting a bit more confident now <laughs> I finally made it to my meeting. This is the brand new venue for the Mum to Millionaire meetup. Uh, 17th of May, and we've got another one in July. Mum to Millionaire! Woo! Okay! Hello! Hi! Right, we're live at the Mum to Millionaire meetup. The moment you're about to give up is the moment that you're about to win. We just recorded a brand new podcast episode with this. Oh, look at, look at, look at. Actually, you can introduce yourself. Who are you? Yeah, so my name's Tyra, sales manager of the Warwick here. So we're now at the Warwick. I finally made it here. You've seen some lovely things of London, but this is the brand new venue. We'll show you around in just a second. Um, but we just recorded a really great podcast. Oh my yeah. God, Tyra has got power tips on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is one of those platforms, isn't it? That's so underutilized. Yeah, I don't want to overwhelm you and now say go on LinkedIn, but just maybe look around, spend a bit of time. Can you give one of your power tips right now? We've got about five more in the podcast episode, which will be coming out in a few weeks. But um, what LinkedIn power tip can you give right now? LinkedIn power tip, I'd say utilize search engine on LinkedIn. Search for posts if you're looking for a supplier, if you're looking for how you can help a supplier. Search it, you'll find the post and you'll be able to help them. And that is why I'm in the presence of the beautiful Tyra, because I put a post up on LinkedIn, simple status, just saying, I'm looking for a brand new venue for mum to millionaire meetups in London. And then what did you do? I searched looking for venue London, I found the post and we're here. And she just literally wrote a simple comment like, hi, like we can, I can't remember what it was, that was yeah, so like, simple, like get in touch to help, with us. Yeah. yeah, so just be polite. I think that's just such a simple but great LinkedIn power tip. Use the search bar and just type in keywords for your business. So like yeah. Tyra just said, she um, typed in Venue London and that's why we're here today. But if you want to meet Tyra, ta-da! Maybe you want to get some more LinkedIn tips. Um, come on the 17th of May to the Mum to Millionaire Millionaire Meetup. We will be here in the Warwick in central London. See you then. Bye. See you then, bye. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay, so I'm really rubbish. I didn't do any videos or <laughs> any videos of um, Jacqueline Gold. We just had our amazing lunch. We are the WOW winners of 2017. Woo! Um, so we just met her. Here's a short video clip of two seconds and some photos. <laughs> okay, right, we're back now. Um, <laughs> What one thing, actually introduce yourselves. Okay. So we are the WOW winners. If you don't know what WOW is, Jenny, explain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
so um, I'm Jenny and I'm one of the WOW winners and uh, WOW was set up by Jacqueline Gold quite a few years ago uh, as uh, a way to uh, engage and, and reward uh, women in business and it's brilliant that three of us have yeah. won for 2007. Yeah. And we just had lunch at the Ivy, it was we very did. nice, we are stuffed <laughs> so <lovely>. much. <laughs> um, so Jenny, what is your business and what did you learn from our lunch today with Jacqueline? So my business is called Sorry. Detective Hold on one second, that was really bad lighting there. Okay. Oh that's better, right something. there we go, start again. Sorry, that was bad lighting. I start again. <laughs> so uh, my my name's Jenny Williams, and my business is the Detective Project. We're an events company. We run a crime scene investigation-based events for adults and children. So uh, what did I learn from today? Oh my goodness, I need to go and write it all down because it's all in my head. Sort of so much. To go. Uh, but I, I think one of the main things was was to engage in social, social media more, and dare I say it, blog. But they'll laugh at me when I say that. Um, and Jenny but, will blog from now on. I've said it. I'm going to do. She a said blog. it. She's <laughs> and I'm Alika and I'm from Smart Raspberry Cookery School. So we run uh, classes for children um, and we do parties and we do workshops and I had a great lunch. And what did I learn? Okay, so what did I learn? I learned that, well, loads of things, but one thing I took away was to remember to incentivize customers to rebook. So you've yes, got yeah. those customers that have just been to a party or to a workshop. Don't let them run away without letting them know what you do. Um, try and get them to rebook. Yeah, and I think I learned, because we are now all award winners for our business, and this is what Jacqueline actually said to us, and I never thought about this, we can actually call our businesses award winning now. So Mum to Millionaire is an award winning business. Never yeah. thought about no. to do that. So we've had a great day. Sorry we didn't take you on the whole journey, but you're not actually allowed phones in the Ivy. No, no, that's so why that's why, don't yeah. blame me. But Jacqueline, 100% committed now. She's coming on the yes. podcast very soon, so make sure you watch out for that. See you. Wow, I really, <laughs> I really don't know how to vlog anymore. I think that, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the last time I did a video diary was like about nine months ago, so... <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit rusty, but I've enjoyed doing this. I know it wasn't um, amazing, but I think it was quite insightful to just see what is going on in my business. For someone that is worth an estimated 500 million pounds, 16th richest woman in the UK, the CEO of Anne Summers, she's also got a CBE, so she's actually met the queen as well. She's just so normal so humble, so down to earth, and I think that's a massive testament to her success. She's just grown Anne Summers into this amazing company, employs fantastic people, and I can't wait, because in um, six months time, we're gonna be going to the Anne Summers head office, and I will make sure I make a proper video then. Um, obviously, I need to get permission first, but so I can um, hopefully, potentially, maybe show you around Anne Summers and just show you what I'm doing there. And yeah, this is great. The moral of this video is create your own opportunities and not just create your op own opportunities. Go out there and see what opportunities there are. Come on, it's 2018, 2019 if you're watching this in the future. And um, there's just so much opportunity out there. Myself, Mum to Millionaire, and the two other lovely ladies who you just saw in the video, we got picked as the free top businesses of 2017. We are the wow winners. Um, it just feels great, to be honest. It still seems a bit surreal. I'm just like, wow, so cool. So, Go out there, see what opportunities there are to grow your business, connect with the right um, people. Oh, hello there, I'm just uh, interrupting myself. I'm in my son's room now, which is a complete mess. He's got to that phase now where he's just sticking loads of stuff on his wall. Um, I wanted to interrupt myself because talking about opportunities <laughs> and everything. Um, so we went for lunch at the Ivy and on the table next to us was Holly Willoughby, Philip Schofield, uh, Christine Blakely and Frank Lampard and I don't really get um, what's the word 
I know this can sound really rude, but I don't get excited by celebrities, if that makes sense, because everyone is just normal. Like, I really respect people, and I'm really inspired by people like Jacqueline. I'm so inspired by her, and I'm so inspired by Holly Willoughby, but I don't get like, oh my god, it's Holly Willoughby kind of thing. One thing which really annoyed me, though, is that I was in the toilet, and Holly Willoughby was in the toilet with me at the same time, and in my head, I'm, I was thinking, Vina, just say something to her in terms of, like... You know, I would love to interview her with a Mum to Millionaire podcast. But then she went into the toilet and I was like, oh, that's... And one thing I hold against myself is that I hate it when I miss opportunities. Like, I will think about that now for probably like months to come. Like, I miss the opportunity to say something to Holly. But at the same time, imagine if you were out for a lunch with your friends and then you're getting people coming up to you all the time like asking for pictures or saying oh I really want to get in touch with you I think there's a thin line isn't it of when to ask people maybe if I saw her walking down the street I could have asked her but in a toilet I don't know if that's very appropriate and um yeah maybe I'll tell her this story one day if I ever <laughs> meet her in the future and get her opinion on it because I'm sure a lot of celebrities get stopped all the time and all they want to do is just eat their food in peace. Funnily enough it happened to uh, Jacqueline when we were with her we were just about to leave the Ivy and um, a man was like oh, I don't usually do this but uh, you know my business is this x y and z so um yeah I thought do you know what good on him it might not be a t entirely appropriate but that was very brave of him to do that and you, you have to ask at the end of the day, but I think you've got to be tactful and do it in the right situation. But anyway, let's go back to myself. Jacqueline's things that she said was network, network, network. She wishes that when she was starting Anne Summers and when she was younger, she wishes that she would network even more because, and it's true, I, I think a message, a message for myself is that people do business with other people. And if you look at your own business, if I look at my business, the clients have hired, hired me for video training. I might have um, met them at an, at an event or I've had a mum that has um, hired me to train her corporate company because she came on the podcast. I'll actually link Lucy's amazing story up above. She made 4.5 million in her business last year. So check out her talk. Um, from the last mum to millionaire meetup and yeah it's just get out there and trust me I know I seem like very confident and like Mah! and all that kind of thing but I actually get very scared and quite anxious sometimes and I hate talking in front of large groups of people so don't and people do say that to me, they're like, Vina, it's okay for you, like, you've got the confidence, like, no, I have to practice confidence, I put myself in situations that are uncomfortable, because that's the only reason, that's the only way, sorry, that you're gonna grow as a person in your business if you put yourself in uncomfortable situations. Yes, you can be successful by doing the same thing, um, but you're not challenging yourself and you're not gonna meet new people and your success will be limited because you're not getting out of your comfort zone. So yeah, go and do that. This has been such a random video, but I'm back home now. I'm gonna go and um, get to my, oh, look at him. Oh, he's not that obviously that, Oh, look, he looks so cute. <laughs> I miss my son. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and get my son now from childcare. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, take action today, not tomorrow. And our progress might be slower as mums, but we will always get there in the end. Don't compare yourself to other people. My business is literally going like this at the moment. like so slow so slow and I've set myself a little mantra and I say as long as I do one thing every day to push myself on my business forward I'm happy because as you know I know I haven't gone into too much depth about it but I'm going through a lot of personal stuff at the moment with my son and just in general, uh, you know, with being a single mum and other factors, which one day I will explain, so it hopefully helps you in your life. Um, but yeah, 
I'm going extremely slowly at the moment, so don't compare yourself to other people. Just because a mum down the road started her business a year ago and is now making 100K a year, that doesn't mean you have to do the same. Do things at your own time. Okay, but at the same time, don't make it as an, as an excuse. Don't go and sit and watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians for like 20 hours in a week. No, so no excuses, but don't kill yourself and don't, and just focus on being happy, all right? Um, thank you for watching, I love you so much, you are beautiful. Click there to su subscribe to this channel. Um, free audiobook for you, <laughs> I'm moving my camera, free audiobook for you around there, and a previous video uh, for you to watch there as well. And I will see you in the next vlog, bye. It's all time.